Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, Mr. Aim. Madam Charis. Yes, Karib Sana. A model, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's a model farm. <laughs> And we are doing good, but before we proceed, I have a surprise for you. Really? Yes. I welcome the surprise. Yes, really? yes, yes. Uh -huh. We are doing goats here, uh -huh. and we won the wow. most champion goats in ASK wow. Nakuru Show. Wow. You can see we have a trophy. Really? Yeah, this is for the, uh, the best dairy goats. This is in the best dairy goat? Yeah, the champion. Guys. Uh, this is actually it's written here winner yeah of course because we were amazing uh, we were being done a judge a judging mm -hmm. and then when we done judging they they, uh, they look at several things and then if you have qualified all those you get the champion so we are today having a conversation with a champion like you have the best dairy goods exactly <laughs> 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 it was uh, the best champion uh, in Togenberg. Wow, wow. It was a bug. Wow. So uh, when you, you hear about bugs, uh, you always know that there is good breeds. Breeds. Exactly. And you have other more champions? Here. We have other more champions. I have uh, uh, the good uh, Alpine bug. Wow. And I have uh, the good uh, Togenberg uh, female. Champion. Male, champion, females. Yes. <laughs> we want you to take us through yes. what it takes yeah. for one to be a champion. Exactly. Pleasure. Yes. I'm going to take you loud. I show you the goods and the breeds that we have, how we feed, the structure building, and so many things about daily good. Thank you. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. Ah. So this is our goat pens. Okay. Uh, we normally put the water in one side and food in one side. Amazing. So I took one contamination between the water, water. And, and, okay. and the feeds. Okay. Yeah. So you can see. Like how many goods facing this way? Uh, facing this way is like, uh, hey, it's more, like, uh, more than 15. Ah, that's yeah, nice. It's more than 15, yeah. Great. So you can see how goats, you can do goats in a very little space. Indeed. Yeah. This oh. is another pen. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is another pen. It's another pen. Wow. So you can see there is goat on the other side, on this side, on the other side, on the other side also. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. Yeah. Oh, we also have more goats here. Yeah. That's nice. And then we have, you also have another one here. So this, oh, this one's, the missing goods are the ones that now are sold out. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Uh, you can see for this one, yes. they are those who are, we are expecting them to, to get birth for the first time. Oh, so okay. that is why we have put them here. You can see there are some few weeks to... So which ones do you sell? Uh, we, we said, I said this expectance. This, oh, this was uh, almost kidding. Almost, uh, almost kidding. Oh, that's nice. So this is a, uh, wow. Like so that when the farmer buys this goat, yep. he's going to start with it from the day one. Uh -huh. Yeah. How much is one, this one? Uh, this is uh, only 25,000. A registered goat. A registered goat. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, let's go on. <laughs> or you even have some sheep. Yeah, exactly for meat because you know sometimes when you have visitors, oh, wow, wow. yeah, yeah, we have also other goats here. In, amazing. Mm, these are the. So these ones are just facing behind now. Yeah, these are the ones facing behind. Uh -huh. Oh, these ones are common pens. Like here, I can see one, two, three. Yeah. In one pen. Yeah, this can can carry up to ten pens. You can see the the feeding Trough. area troughs wow. can carry up to ten to twelve goats. This one is an alpine. This is a sunen. It's a cross of alpine and, tag, uh, and sunen. Oh, wow. wow. That yeah. nice. looks nice, by the way. Yeah. And these ones look like they're those that are being milked. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. What about these ones? Yeah, these are Germany alpines. Ah. So this one that has uh, isolated them from the others, you can see their parents. So for this one, I'm not saving. So this is like your parents' talk? This, this is my parents' talk. Same way this way? Yeah. Uh, 
Wow, you're doing a good job. Thank you so much. This is an amazing <laughs> job. Yeah, we're encouraging farmers not just to stay there because of climate change and say there is no rain. We need to look for something that we can do. We diversify from other things that we have been doing and we, we get something on the table. This is the way to go. This is the way to go, my brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, let's go and dig, and, and, and dig deeper yeah. to get the story of what it took you mm -hmm. to get here. Yeah. Keeping 120 goats in such a small space is not a walk in the park. Uh, so, Madam Therese, yes, like, please. what does it take? How did it take you to get here? Uh, if you can remember a short story about myself, I started uh, doing farming in a lento house and I started with one day the goat. And of course, uh, the passion have driven me to where I am today. Right now, as we speak, I have allowed uh, uh, 120 goats. They were 200, but after the show, I've been able to sell 80 goats. So right now, as we speak, I have uh, 120 goats. 120 dairy goats. Exactly. So what it takes to reach here is more of a passion and hard work. Because we can even have passion, but we're not working on it. I have so many youth yes. outside there mm. who tell me that there is no jobs in agriculture. Mm -hmm. Not even jobs. They say that that business doesn't pay. Yeah. Like, I look at them and I wonder. When I look at them yes. and I look at you, uh -huh. No, there is a lot in, uh, in farming, especially now we are talking about dairy goats. Uh, dairy goats are the cheapest goats to manage. You can see like for me, I'm doing in silo grazing uh, unit and feeding management of the goat is not, uh, goat is not a heavy feeder compared with the cows. So everybody can manage. Also, uh, like for the dairy goats, they are resistant to many diseases. So I don't see any charity. There is a lot in dairy goat. Also the nutrition value of the dairy goat milk. As we always know, uh, it has a lot of calcium. It is very rich in calcium. And also the value of the milk is very high compared even to any other milk because the dairy goat goes for 200 shillings, one kg. So if somebody there can tell you there is no, uh, there is no work, there is no job, there is no opportunity, the business does not pay, I can't believe that because, uh, for example, when you have 10 dairy goats and uh, that goat produces allowed one to two liters per day. So which means it's, a, it's an average of one and a half kg. Uh, all liters that goes to 300 per day and you have 10 daily goats 3,000 3,000 per day you can just imagine the consumption of a daily goat it feeds allowed five kilos per day you mean let's get this math so. yeah let us do the calculation if you have one cow mm -hmm. it's the feed taken by one cow is equivalent to five daily goats exactly <laughs> Which means uh, amazing. <laughs> like a cow uh -huh. can only be, let's say, like a high high yield can only survive in very cool environments. And a dairy goat can survive anywhere because you can see the dairy goats. As long as you you do a rest house, nothing more. And you see, for the dairy goats, for for the cow. The cow is a heavy feeder. It takes 10% uh, of, uh, of its weight. Which means if your cow is 500 kg, it will feed on 50 kgs per day. But the, for the, the daily goat, even you do the same calculation, which means the highest goat will, uh, will be having 50 kgs. Which means it's going for 5 kgs per day. Per day. So now, someone can challenge you this way. Yes. that one cow can give you 30 liters. Mm -hmm. Then you sell for 50 shillings per liter. Yes. 50 times 30 is 1,500, mm -hmm. is it? Yes. And you have five dairy goods. Yes. Each of them can give you a maximum of how many liters? Uh, oh, that is allowed uh, two kg per day. Per goat. 
per goat. So that is two, that's 10 liters? 10 liters. One yeah. liter is how much? 200. Oh my goodness. That is 2,000. Do your calculations oh well. Oh my goodness. And then, look at the feeding. Mm -hmm. Right now in Kenya, in Africa, we are talking about the high cost of feed. So in real sense, yes. you are doing smart agriculture. Now, that is where we are. Climate smart agriculture. Guys. And also, remember, the goat give birth two times a year. Some of them are twins, triplets. So you cannot imagine, if you are waiting for one cow, it will go for nine months. The gestation period is nine months. For the goat, it's just five and a half months. What does that tell you? Oh my goodness. What does, that <laughs> what does that tell you? As in guys, we just don't need to farm. What, what do you mean is just, just don't need to farm? <laughs> also, you know we are doing some months. Also, look at the space, space that we have kept our dairy goods. If I were to put some cow, maybe I would put like three or four cows in all this space. But the, for the goats, I'm doing allowed, allowed 25 goats. Ah, that space. Mm. This is why we have AIM Agriculture Farm. Yes. This is why we bring you such types of farmers. Mm -hmm. A champion. Mm -hmm. Just do the math yourself. Do the math yourself. And you see, that's why you're a champion. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So now you have your goats yes. giving birth twice a yes. year. Yes. You might be lucky. You can get twins or triplets. Yes. Which is a very small, uh, impossible thing in in cows. Eh? Yes. So ne next to impossible, not impossible, but next, <laughs> next to impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, I think your message is. Even if you want to do goat farming, then one has to be very careful with the breeds. I think you mean that one has to go for the pure breeds. Exactly. Uh, you need to know more about the breeds, the bugs, uh, because like now here we do the token bug most. And the reason why I do the token bugs, I also have the German Alpine and Sunnen and British Alpine. But the most breed that do very well here is, uh, is the Togenberg. The reason why, because Togenberg is very hardy, goat, it can survive every, anywhere. So if you are doing it for business, you can sell to anybody in any climate. You can take it to Nyandal, where there is a lot of gold. You can take it to anywhere in the country. So you have to look for your breeds very well. Know which bleed can suit your climate, but for the token bug, as well. And also, the milk is very thick compared to other other goats. Oh, so you can use just a retro milk and do a lot of uh, tea, maybe. Yeah, and also if you are you are doing it for for a value addition, like you want to do creams, butter, uh, for token bag, milk is very good. Where are Chabona? Unatuambia hapa wei ni mkulima wa mbuzi. Naumenda kufugo luko tukienye jitu tatu. <laughs> then unakujo unasema tiyo biyashara hailiti. Exactly. Tiyo biyashara haina faida. Mm. Oh mbuzi ya itoi maziwa. Mbuzi, if, if, I think people just buy the color. Not even the color. Huh? Other thing that you, you are supposed to, to do uh, or to know as a farmer who, who is starting up, mm -hmm. look for a farm that is registered, a farm that it is registering the, 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 the goats with the Kenya study book, so that you can follow the records of the goats. I think you mean, these goats here, the 120 remaining, yes. are all registered? They are all registered uh, at the Kenya study book, mm -hmm. so that we can be able to know the records of the goats, understand your goat, not even just go and kwa barabara kununua buzi na kupereka kwa nyuba. That is not a qualification of somebody who is want to start daily goat as, a, as an enterprise. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Because amazing. you want to know, to understand the diseases of the goat, the treatments, the challenges, of course, mitigation measures. I, I think the most important thing that you want to understand is the history of the The history of the goat. Yeah, and you Maybe that goat mm -hmm. had a, a certain disease. You, you want to understand the treatment that it undergoes. Mm -hmm. So that when it repeats it again, you'll know on how to handle it. 
the characteristics of the mother, characteristics, the, father, the production, exactly the origin, the origin, all those things. Yeah. They are very important when you want to start the dairy goat farming or any other animal farming. My dear viewers, when you're buying a goat, the message that we get from Charis Farm today, for you to be a successful farmer, she simply says, you have to buy a goat that is registered with the Kenya Stud Book. Yeah. This will help you have a history of your goats. Mm -hmm. And this will help you also not to be lied to because most of us buy goats just mm -hmm. by the color. <laughs> yeah. You go to the internet and you find someone has advertised a goat and he says this one is a pure breed Togenberg from Marono, Germany. And you pay, you bring to your, to your farm. You will feed it forever. And the maximum you can get is just three teaspoons. Then you give up. The other thing you, you are supposed to do as a farmer, mm -hmm. it's very good to get a training. Yes. Yeah. Get somewhere you can get a training, learn about the data goods, learn about the feeding, management, all those things. So that you can be able to do for yourself. Just face it to several farmers, compare the notes, understand the goods, and then get into farming. Ah. Because there are some challenges that farmers have been calling me about the feeding. You say you need to understand the content in the feeding that you are feeding your animal. So unapata mtu amepatia hay, the same time amepatia oat. Those are the same things. So we need to understand and that is why it is good to get training. So that you get to know the content of the feed. Wow. Where did you get your first pure breed? My first pure breed, I, get, I got it from uh, somebody in Kirinyaga. Uh, and the goats were imported from South Africa. So I was connected by Kenya Star Book. And I was lucky. Oh. And the training, I got it from uh, Carlo Naivasha. They gave me a two weeks training. Also DTI, they trained me on uh, several things about goats, like uh, nutrition in animal. I did also calf rearing. Madam Charis? Yes, me. What are some of the main challenges? You know, there's no business that yeah. has got no challenge. Exactly. So we should not just tell uh, people, join this business, yes. but not telling them mm -hmm. the challenges that they should expect. Yeah. What are some of the main challenges? Uh, number one challenge, and that is a good question, is about the breeds. Uh -huh. You are supposed to know how to choose your breeds well, where to, to, to get the breed, are the breed uh, registered, uh, you see all those things about breed. Number two, you need to know about uh, diseases, so that when you see a certain behavior, you can understand it's a certain disease. Number three is about uh, structures. Because you can see some farmers just buy the goats, they put them on the cord, and then the goats get pneumonia. And then after that, maybe you don't know it is pneumonia, there is no treatment, the goat die. So goats and cold, no. Goats and cold, no. And that's why you see most of the structures of goats are laced up. Ah. Yeah. So the other challenge is about feeds. Because remember, we are keeping we are keeping dairy goats for, feed, for for milk, so we need to feed them with a balanced diet, and we need to, to give them with vitamins and all the supplement, so that it can produce milk for us. So that is a very big, big challenge where farmers failed so many times, and also how to raise the kids. So you not only just give them feed, but it has to be. A nutritive, or yeah, yeah, balanced feed. A balanced feed whereby mm -hmm. there is uh, there is protein, there is uh, phosphorus, there is minerals, all those things combined together for the goat to have good health and to produce a lot of milk. I see in yes. some instances like mm -hmm. dairy, yeah, um, even in chicken. Yes, we have feed according to the stages of the animal. Exactly. Is the same in goats? The same in goat, the same in cow, the same in every animal. At every stage there is a, feed, a certain feeding. Yeah. So when, make me understand this. Mm -hmm. hmm? When a goat has just given birth, for your case because you are a um, dairy uh, farmer in terms yes. of goats. Yeah. After you just get the kid, eh? 
do you let it suckle the mother directly or you suckle it like we do for cows like you buy for it a milk sucker you can suck from no 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 the, the first few weeks the, the kid is supposed to to suck from the mother direct one thing because the the milk is very healthy for that small kid the other thing is that uh, it uh, helps the mother to release the milk and also the we avoid stress you avoid stress mm, between the mother and the and the kid so there is a lot in that and that is why we always encourage farmers to go for trainings and us here we do the trainings on how to rear the goats and so many other things madam charis yes me you such a motivation such an encouragement yeah when people see you doing such a farming on a very small space yes having such pure breeds mm -hmm. having these numbers of goats by the way this is not the only structure we have like uh, this is one mm -hmm. two i think we've seen mm -hmm. when she took us around yeah what message do you have for women and youth yes who are watching us there uh for women and youth who are watching us there all our viewers, in agriculture viewers, and anybody that is inspired would like to do the dairy goat farming, I would like to advise them that dairy goat farming is a good farming. It is a very profitable business. And you need to do just the training, understand the type of breed that you want to rear, and you'll make money out of it. Uh, don't uh, forget to remember that start small, understand the project, and at the end of the day, you are there. So never limit yourself because of the little space that you have. I have encouraged farmers, even they are doing a dairy goat in plots, 40 by 80. 40 by 80. Unapata mtu wakona dairy goat kumi. Wow. Yes, and they're making a lot of money out of that. Ah. So don't limit yourself because of space. Don't limit yourself because of resources. There is, uh, the, the, there is a way that you can just start small with two goats, three goats, one goat, and we're there. Remember, even a farmer of one goat, is still a farmer. Wow. Yes. I encourage you so much, mm. try it, and see the results. Yes. You can even start with one goat, yeah. in a very small space, mm. and I'm sure you can be able to get milk for consumption at home, yeah. and also for sale, and at the end of the year, you've got, got your kid uh, got giving <laughs> birth twice, exactly. and you'll not be the same. And remember, also getting uh, milk from home is sustainability. <laughs> Climate smart <laughs> agriculture. <laughs> agriculture. Thank you so much. You are, you are able to sustain yourself from home because you can be able to consume your milk there. Yeah. So this is the place? Yes, this is the guest home. Uh -huh. A home in the farm. Wow. Where we host our visitors and then they have a quiet place in the farm. Let's go and see. Yeah. Ah!